What is going on? Bit Wise Guy here, and today we're going to be having a look at the coolest things that people are making in Rust. So without further ado, let's get started. Coming in at number one is Lime Dye's um, non Euclidean ray tracer, uh, which he's writing in Rust, obviously. Uh, for those of you who want to find the project, you can find it at github.com slash limits slash Euclid. Um, and he says, I'm running a non Euclidean ray tracer in Rust. I'm just about to fix a bug with mouse movement on Windows, if that's what you're using. I like the videos you make, by the way. Uh, thank you so much, Lime Dye, and um, let's have a quick look at your project. So, um, what I've gone ahead and done is I've sped up compilation since it is an enormous project to compile, um, and then we'll jump into it. So, the first thing that I noticed about your project is that um, a lot of the uh, computation is actually done on the CPU still, um, and that makes it a quite a laggy project. I absolutely love the whole project as a whole and it works really nicely in the sense that um, it does what it advertises as um, but performance could most definitely be improved by moving a lot of that computation to the GPU with something like OpenCL. Um, I had a lot of trouble when I increased the resolution uh, using the mass scroll uh, to kind of a reasonable sort of a limit. Um, I, have an, I have an AMD FX uh, 6 core CPU um, and I, I tried it both with and without recording so um, just to get a fair uh, kind of um, comparison um, and I had pretty much the same performance uh, I didn't expect that much to change um, so it was a bit hard to move around and stuff but I thought it was really cool anyway um, and I would most recommend um, you guys, you, by the way you got number one spot so um, to anyone who's thinking of trying something out really cool or even contributing to a really cool project um, the one thing I would like to see happen is to be is to port a lot of the computation to the GPU um, in terms of like scaling and resolution and all that kind of stuff. Um, <clears throat> that that would make the project I think a lot uh, a lot faster and a lot better. Um, so yeah, thank you very much for your submission, and I hope that this helps you get some more exposure. Coming in at number two is a game called Zone of Control by Ozcriff. Uh, he links to his GitHub repository, which you can find in the description box below. Um, and he says, I'm working on a turn-based strategy game called Zone of Control. Uh, so without further ado, let's have a quick look at Zone of Control. Alright, so firstly, I just want to throw out some criticisms there. Um, and these aren't necessarily like a negative thing. Uh, the documentation for how to play the game uh, is pretty scarce and pretty poor. Um, I couldn't fully figure out what I was meant to be doing. Um, however, it felt like a complete game. I just didn't know how to play it. Um, so that's, that's a little bit on me and also a little bit on the documentation. Uh, but now let's get to the positives. So the things that I really liked, uh, I actually broke open the code on this one um, for the video as well. Uh, and I had a look through how the author has structured their code. And I really do like and I appreciate the fact that their code is so well structured. And it's well thought out and it's meticulous. And it would be an easy project uh, to contribute to um, variables and names correctly. Uh, you know, the, the correct, um, I guess the correct structure is there to make this a, a contributable project. Um, so the game itself runs really smoothly um, and I thought it was pretty cool. There's no real bugs that I could find in it, but again, I couldn't really play the game well. Um, so I'm just gonna show you a little bit of a demo here of what I th was able to accomplish with uh, this game and then we'll move on to number three. Taking the spot at number three is Ivan Karas's Curtain, which is a database web app similar to uh, PHP My Admin. Uh, I don't have all the necessary requirements to actually have it installed and compiled on my computer, but um, I have some B-roll footage of it compiling all successfully, so how I did that. Um, and then we're going to go check out his online demo, so let's go straight into it.
Um, so I just thought I would give my um, feedback as I have done with all the other ones. Um, so the proof of concept is really cool and the concept in general is really cool. Um, and I think it's really cool that it uses iron and we're going to be able to see some really interesting and unique things that are being done with Rust for the web. Um, but specifically with this project here, um, I think that it's really cool and it's going places, um, but it's not fully functional at the moment from my testing. Uh, and I think it has a lot of potential, uh, but it's currently not something that I would use in any sort of production environment. Um, it would definitely be a project that I would be willing to contribute to, to make work. Um, but as you'll see in the, uh, in the bottom right hand corner, uh, all of my edit actions and update actions and all those kinds of things uh, were unsuccessful. They had uh, errors that were returned back to me. But nonetheless, um, it's a really nicely laid out sort of a thing. Very PHP my admin, but just better. Um, I like the tabs at the top. Those are really nice. Um, I like the fact that it's all Ajax based and it's driven by WebSockets. Um, so that's also really cool. Uh, the WebSockets thing may actually be hindering uh, my usage of it on a slower server. Um, the reason being is that there's a constant communication between my, uh, ser my computer and your connection. Um, and that may be a little bit slower. So um, that's just something to consider if you're running between, say, a remote server and a local client. Uh, you may want to consider other alternatives rather than just WebSockets as the default way of uh, communicating over uh, between the between the SQL Server. Um, and oh, I just thought I would just add as well. Um, this is actually backed by Postgres SQL. Um, I don't think you can use any other server with it, but you may actually be able to because I think it's using uh, Rust ORM, which should be able to uh, swap in and out between the two. So um, that's just my thoughts on this project. But I really hope that it goes and progresses in awesome directions, uh, and we may check it. We may check it out again in another video in the future. So. Uh, yeah, so just check out the rest of this uh, clip and um, yeah. Coming in at number four is a library called StatRS by Boxtown, who says, I don't know if this is sexy enough to put in a video, but I've been working on a pure statistical computing library called StatRS. Um, statistics are sexy. I love statistical analysis. I love just that whole heavy duty computing thing. I love it. It's awesome. Um, and I'm planning to do heaps of it in Rust uh, to do with financial data and all those kinds of things. So actually, this is really uh, an exciting library for me. Um, I just want to say quickly, YouTube, please don't demonetize this video because I said the word sexy. TM. Anyway, um, but yeah, so... This is a really cool library, and I would even be willing to um, maybe make a wrapper for this for kind of parallel computation, uh, maybe even move this into some kind of OpenCL uh, shindig. But uh, what I've done for this video is I've gone ahead and I have uh, made a little sample project with his library to test out his code and see how well it works for us. So without further ado, let's jump into that. Thank you all so much for watching. If you liked today's video, go ahead and smash that like button for me. It really helps. And if you're not already subscribed, subscribe. If you didn't like this video and don't want to see another one of these videos, go ahead and smash the dislike button. That helps equally as much in feedback for me. Um, if your project wasn't featured in this video and you did post on the original post, I'm truly sorry about that. I couldn't feature everyone in the time span that I had in this video. Um, it was already a fairly long video. And big, big shout out to the person who wrote the music for this video. It's truly 
awesome SoundCloud link in the description below. If you guys want to see another one of these videos, uh, go ahead and comment in the comment section below. And if you want your project featured in the next one of these videos, uh, if I decide to do another one of these videos, uh, just also put that in the comment section below or shoot me a private message on Reddit, um, which is reddit.com slash a bit wise guy. Um, and I hope you all have a really awesome weekend and I will see you guys soon. Cheers.